and invited me to be a lecturer for the Tombaugh uh, Club meeting. And I checked the list of previous lecturers, and it's an impressive list of people and a lot of interesting subjects. I'm honored to have the opportunity to be a presenter and be added to the list of the Tombaugh lecture series. So I'm going to dive into the partial phase phenomena now. And these are all the things that are related to the sun being slowly covered by the moon. And some are unique to eclipses. Now, pinhole projection is another simple concept with some, some interesting details behind it. People like to take pictures of the crescent phases on the ground. Well, this is a function of the concept of camera obscura. If you have a very brit brightly lit object in front of a pinhole and there's a dark room behind it, the back wall on that dark room will show the image of what's brightly lit, but it'll be upside down and reversed left to right. Or if this was a pinhole projection camera, the photographic film would expose the image upside down and reverse left to right. And that's because all light has to travel through a straight line. So the infinite amount of light that's bouncing off the object and going through the pinhole has to start on the top and go to the bottom or has to stop on the left and go to the right start on the left and go to the right. So the image you get on the back side of the pinhole is always reversed left to right and upside down. And the crescent phases will do the same thing, except they don't have really enough detail, a small crescent phase on the ground, to realize which is up and which is down and which is left and which is right. But it is opposite of what's happening in the sky behind you. And you can project the pinholes a lot of different ways. Uh, these are holes through a Ritz cracker. This is taking your hands to make a little pinhole between your fingers. Uh, of course, the fun one is the natural pinholes that occur between the leaves and the trees. You can take a colander to the eclipse site and project the pinholes to the holes in the colander, or you can punch your name in thick, thin cardboard or the date of the eclipse in thin cardboard and project that. 